Uh, I like being married. It's fun. It's a good time. But um, I've learned something. You don't know a woman until you marry her, and then you watch her watch the show Snapped on the Oxygen channel. <laughs> it's a whole genre. You may not have seen Snap, but you may have seen Wives with Knives or any of these other... Yeah. Or any of these w other wonderful programs about real-life women who murder their real-life man. And, uh, you know, it's narrated by a woman with an oddly understanding tone. And, uh, you know, they always take a hard turn. It's like Tina had to move to a new town because Brian got a job and she missed her mother. So she got into online gambling and then shot him in the head while he was asleep. And I'm like, Jesus. And I look at my wife to like laugh and she's like, that's what happens. <laughs> I'm like, you think that's a valid kill? <laughs> like the dude just moved. And she's like, she missed her mom. Like, do you not love your mom? And I'm like, so fear runs down my spine. Because if that, if she sees that that's okay, I'm screwed, you know? So I had to quickly figure out how to not die. And there's nothing like th a threat that makes you learn. Because I love my wife. I'm gonna be with her for the rest of my life. But I also like life. Like I wanna stay on the planet. I'm a big fan. So I had to figure it out. Uh, Cause I now realize she is one of the greatest threats to, to me. Uh, and I think I cracked the code. I don't, I don't like this gender fighting. I never have. You know, it's like, you're stupid. No, you guys are stupid. It's like, we need each other, you know? Because men cannot make life, which is the closest thing to magic in this world. And women can't reach all the shelves. And you know that. And you can think you're going to get a step stool, but you won't. So you need us too. And you know you do. So let's work this thing out. And uh, I, I, I think everyone, I think people pretty much have good intentions and everything gets derailed by communication. And I figured it out. Men need orders, specific direct orders. We want to do stuff for you. That's why we're on the planet. That's why men are here. What do you want? I'll do it. Tell me with very clear language, directly what you want. And then I will do it. I will complete the task, but be specific. Women want to do awesome stuff for you too, unless you use very direct language. <laughs> then you're a piece of shit. <laughs> um, I'll give you some examples. So my wife and I are sitting on the couch and she's like, it's really cold in here. I was like, I know. <laughs> I gave her that look like, I get it, I've been there. And then I went back to wondering why glue doesn't stick to the inside of the bottle. <laughs> you know, I got some theories. Uh, maybe there's a coating. Maybe, maybe it needs a vacuum and it only reacts to air. But then you need it to be really sealed or else it gets like rock hard. Rock hard. Uh, and out of the corner of my eye, my wife's like, <sighs> And the chattering gets pretty loud, but that's not her fault. She's cold. That's an involuntary reflex to cold. But it is annoying, so I turn the TV up to drown it out. I can't be distracted. Eventually, she gets up, gets a blanket, sits back down. In my mind, I'm proud of her. I'm like, wow, that's a really good move. She's smart. And I go back to happiness and just thoughts. That's what I was feeling. What she was feeling was much different. What happened then for her is she started replaying that event o over and over in her head, quietly, showing no nothing, it's all inside. And now she, has a, she gets a theory. And then she time travels around her relationship, uh, collecting anecdotal evidence to fit her theory. Uh, it's, called, uh, it's called confirmation bias, it's literally a thing. So, and now she's debating whether or not she should even bring it up. You know, she's like, maybe I should just not bring it up. It's probably better for everybody but I deserve to bring it up, you know? And this back and forth now is raising her heart rate. So that eventually an hour later, and I have no idea what she's talking about. She just out of nowhere goes, do you even give a shit about me? 
Okay. I have no idea. So I react the way all men will react with, with a face that's just like, baby, what the hell are you talking about? And that fuels the fire because that's one of her other theories that she's like, you don't even care. You don't even know what you do. I, don't, I care so little, I don't even know I don't care. That's another theory that just got reinforced. So now I'm like, you sound crazy. You think that's crazy? You think that's crazy? Now you're, you're yelling at each other and you don't know why. And there's no end, it's toxic. There's no way to solve it because you don't know what it is. And, and, and it's, it's so bizarre because that's why if you're with a girl that you love and you like, and you're like, she's great, stay with her. Because there's nowhere to go. Like they're all crazy. <laughs> Like seriously, like the, or, like the sooner you earn that, the more you can get on with your life. Because it, it's a young man's fallacy to think there are options, you know? I did, I'd be like, man, I like this girl. Ah, oh, she's crazy, I gotta get another girl. And then I get with another girl and I'm like, what are the odds that this one's also like a mental patient? And then I get with another girl and I'm like, what's going down here? These chicks are like legit crazy. And then I realized the definition of crazy is actually doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different outcome, which is what I was doing. And then I realized that being a man isn't being with a ton of women, like in that Groundhog's Day type experience, because that's easy. It's easy. It, it is easier than just looking into the eyes of a mad woman and staying, you know? Just letting her just do, like go insane and just don't move your feet because it passes over you. And then you get the knowledge that women aren't crazy. What it is, is they think an observation is in order. That's the whole problem. That's when the road splits in the woods, right? When your girl says it's really cold in here, they expect you to at that point be like, what makes cold? And then you, you solve a riddle. I swear to God. They expect you to infer what the best route is at that point. Like an observation to a woman is an actionable order. To a man, that is not true. Like if a man says to another man, it's really cold in here. The other guy's like, I know, right? Seasons, it's like seasons. Like you're just commiserating about life. You know, but not a woman. And the, and the thing is, they're not doing it to trick us. This is the biggest kicker. They're doing it to be nice, to sound not bossy and bitchy. That's, their, that's one of their fears. I just don't want to sound bossy. It's, they speak in, t in subtext. They say nothing and it means everything. Does that make sense? That's how they talk to each other. You ever see women with each other? They do the same shit to each other. You know, like, like and men are flabbergasted. You know, like, you're, like a girl, you go to like a party or something and your buddy's wife is like, Oh, it's so great you guys are here. You didn't bring wine? That's fine. We got plenty of it. Come on in. And your wife's like, she is a bitch. <laughs> and you're like, she said it's fine. They have wine. Like, I don't... <laughs> That's the thing. Women have a lot more power than they realize. If you give us a direct order, we'll do it because we want to. We want to feel like a man who protects you and makes you happy. That's why we're on the planet. And this world can make men feel pretty emasculated. You know? You know, it's like, oh, no way, I got a retweet. Mm. It's like, there's no more dragons. You know? And so if you make us feel like a man, we'll do anything. If you're like, hey, baby, I'm really cold. Will you give me a blanket? Just be like, you need me? She's like, she's like, if I don't come back, I love you. And now you're on a mission. And it, it's even more powerful if you give us some encouragement. We're like, baby, you're so good at getting blankets. And you're like... And now in your mind, you're like, she sees something in me. Maybe I didn't even know about myself. I guess I am good at getting blankets. And then you go to the blanket area. There's a lot of options now. And you don't want to disappoint your queen because she sees you as a man. So you're like, what's the best... You're like, that one's too thin. That one, I'm pretty sure, is uh... And then you see the right blanket. You're like, that's the one. And you, it's, you're like Jason with his fleece. You know, you come back. 
and you put it around your girl and you tuck it in, you take pride in that. But this is what we need, ladies, and this is important. We need approval that the task has been completed. <laughs> right? Don't just sit there with a the blank at that point, because now we're in this constant state of agitation and insecurity. You know, we're like. <laughs> and then finally, you're just like, did I do good? You know, she's like, yeah, you did good, baby. You're such a man. You're like, yes. And then, you know, Van Halen starts playing in your head. And, uh, and that's it. And that's all it is. There's no more. Like, there's no more to figure out with men. We want to make you happy. And if that was just the case, it'd be fine. But the opposite is also true. Women want to do good things for you. They're very thoughtful, selfless. They put others first. They're wonderful, warm. Unless you tell them to. Then they don't. <laughs> <laughs> so true. It's just fact. These are facts. You know, here's 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 two scenarios. This is what you should do. If you come home and your girl's there, um, just be like, "Hey, baby, I had a really bad day. You look amazing. I love you." Don't say one more word. Just find a window and look out the window. That space lets her fill in the blanks in a very positive way, more than you deserve. You know, emptiness is what makes them. You know, she's like, look at him, looking out that window. I wonder what he's thinking about. At this point, you're wondering who put the letter S in the word lisp. You can't say it without lisping if you have a lisp. Like of all the letters, was that intentional? To be like, dude, let's throw an S in there. Let's... But don't say that out loud. Say nothing. Because then that's when they start being like, oh, he works so hard. Look at him. Look at that fine ass. And then, and then, and then they do something really thoughtful that you would never do for yourself. You know, she'd be like, I'm going to make him some hot cocoa. Like, I love hot cocoa. I would never even, th I barely, like, I'm like, pants, pants. Like, I, I don't think of doing something good for myself. But she's like, he loves hot chocolate. So she brings it over. She's like, here, baby, have some hot cocoa. We all have bad days. I love you. Yeah. And I'm like, thank you. How would you know I like this? And she's like, because I pay attention. You know? <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, I don't know what I'd do without you. And the next thing you know,